This new patent just revealed the design? Oh, boy. going on everybody how uh yeah doing boy hey i didn't have this video up i wanted to have this video up yesterday but i was out in them streets boy black lives matter i was out um in a protest it was peaceful you know what i'm saying we kept it peaceful but news 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 we have some dope gaming news items for this video but before we get into the news you gotta give it a thumbs up bruh we're gonna hit you with fire bro. you gotta get the thumbs up right now like all right the playstation 5 we still haven't gotten the console design yet because they wanted for the whole black lives matter the protests everything going on nationally <laughs> they didn't want to you know what I'm saying they want to give us time to breathe let us breathe and so uh, we're still waiting for Sony to officially announce when they're gonna have the console reveal but you know the internet and leaks bro a new patent a new patent for the PlayStation 5 talks about the cooling system and you remember all of the dev kits designs the v the v-shaped designs somebody just subscribed who does a podcast subscribe to my channel while i'm recording live whoop de doo all right you know that um the dev kits that had the v-shaped design well according to this patent that v-shaped design could be somehow implemented into the final design of the console just based on the cooling system and it's shaped like a V for a reason it sucks in the air through one mechanism and then it releases it through that V-shaped pattern and so there are concept designs of the PlayStation 5 floating around the in internet and all have an angular V type design to it you can see it on this one as well as this one this next one has really been circling the internet oh my second design here it is we're just going to pull it up i don't know what happened to my vi my design but this is it that's it right there you know what I'm hey my my on the fly etiquette editing skills are immaculate bro so again you can see the v-shaped design and of course, they didn't have the open um, area in between the V. Like the dev kits, they um, have it all uh, as one box for the final product. But according to a new patent that was just released, I mean, um, two days ago, to be specific, two days ago, the PlayStation 5's cooling system, uh, it was a patent on the PlayStation 5 cooling system with the same V-shaped pattern, leading many to sp speculate it's going to have some kind of V-shaped design. Now, pair this, um, add this into the rumors that says it's going to be twice as thick as the PlayStation 4 Pro. Voila! And you have the final design right here. Now... We want to see what Sony's going to announce and reveal. Um, I want to see the design of the console, but uh, the design of a console has never been my final, oh, I'm getting this console based on how it's shaped. No, <laughs> it's the, um, the games and uh, what's going on inside the console. Bro, speaking of what's going on inside consoles, it looks like the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, we could get the performance of both consoles before the consoles even come out. What do I mean? New AMD graphics cards are set to be released in October. That will be on par with the 
the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Now, these consoles are really high-end PCs right now. The technology in these consoles are not even out on the market right now, according to AMD Digital Foundry. They've already confirmed that. But the graphics cards that are, will be powering both the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 are set to be released in October. That's a month before um, they're expected to come out. Now, still, so this leads speculation on the release date of the consoles. There was a rumor a couple months ago saying Xbox was November, Sony, the PlayStation 5, was actually October. Could Sony launch ahead of the graphics, these graphics cards coming out? I tell you, man, the disparity between console and PCs it's pretty much going to be non-existent this generation because right now when these consoles come out they're going to be more powerful than pretty much every pc on the market there's like one or two graphics cards that'll be more powerful but most pcs will have to bow down to these consoles and by the time we get new graphics cards out in um, bulk on the market there's going to there's not going to be they're not going to wait 10 years for new consoles two three years there's going to be a playstation 5 pro uh, xbox series x x <laughs> i don't know what microsoft does with the name that's the one thing i don't get with microsoft and the naming is with the naming of this console they could have done a better job with the naming of the console everything else about the console fire straight fire but the name um so console's going to be keeping up with pcs from here on out i'm just saying bro i'm just spitting facts bro all right, more news item. We're going to get to this is a, a second Halo game rumored to be coming out after Halo Infinite. But before we get to that, I thought this was also a dope um, news article. Um, Epic Games, they've come out and said they've had to rewrite um, Unreal Engine 5 based on the speed of the PlayStation 5. And so, more news is coming about on just about the speed. That's what Sony's been touting, the, the speed of the SSD, which I'm still not sold on it, bro. When I hear the speed of the SSD, I think of Sega Genesis Blast Processing. Mumbo Jumbo. Who cares about the speed? It's about the power of the system. Uh, that's why I still give Xbox the nod. But, I think this is pretty telling this gives this wants me to pay more attention to this ssd now epic games has said that they've had to rewrite unreal engine 5 but just based on the speed of the playstation 5's ssd so interesting to see how this is going to pan out in games we have to wait and see and that's what we're waiting for it's summer i want to see what both consoles have to announce when it comes to games bro that's going to be my deciding factor i'm going to do a video specifically on console reveal which console is obi-wan buying first that's going to be a separate video after all the games all the um the smoke dies down from the game reveals. All right. And the last news item of this video, bro. This is coming from techradar.com. Halo Infinite isn't the only Halo game we'll see on the Xbox Series X. Um, that's news you probably expect to hear in a year or two. But a new job posting could point to either a spinoff game or a main series entry coming sooner rather than later the job posting in question can be found on microsoft's career page and puts out a call for a senior producer to help develop a new project in the halo universe and so according to this article there's going to be a new halo game coming sooner than expected following halo infinite now a couple questions come to mind first is my opinion this is how i feel with xbox this gen, we got to see more than Halo, Gears, and Forza. Absolutely. Y'all invested in 15 game studios. I want to see the games that Xbox is going to be showing this gen. Bro, I, I played through all of uh, my Xbox backlog. I'm currently playing through my PlayStation 4 backlog. And I have to just keep it a buck. I, I have to be honest, man. It's been night and day 
as far as quality of exclusive. And outside of Halo, Gears, and Forza, dope games. Outside of those three, night and day with the quality. I just beat Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4. Bruh. 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 Fantastic game. That's all I got to say on that. So, what do you guys have to say about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. My stuff just went all haywire. I had to shut down my um, program and put it back up. Oh, we're going to put them glasses on Sonic, bro. <laughs> click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things game, bro. This was supposed to be a Halo, um, bro, at the end. Come on, bro. We out. Deuces. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at obi one plays And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.